Hi everyone, this is Paris de Bono of the Fortune Teller Shop and today we're going to do a reading and the reading is going to be about what does the person I'm thinking of think of me? What does the person I'm thinking of think of me? So we're going to use some Lenormand cards. So I've shuffled the deck and I've cut it in four piles. So think of the person that you're thinking of and think of what they think about you. And then choose one of these piles. So this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four. So choose the one that you feel drawn to and we will commence with the readings. Okay, so if you chose deck number one, we're going to select three cards and we're going to look at what this person thinks of you. One, two, and three. Ooh, so there's definitely passion here. Has loving feelings and thoughts towards you. Feels a little bit blocked though. So the cross tends to block the card before it. And then it shows a man looking away. So this one kind of looks like they feel sorrow. It started off very passionate but it seems to have gotten quite difficult and then it seems like someone has to walk away. So this to me looks like they feel sorrow and sadness towards you and possibly disappointment that something didn't work out. If you chose deck number two, going to select three cards. So what does this person think about you? The whip, okay, it looks like some conflict. The whip could also mean sexual energy as well, but often it means conflicted. Depends what cards are with it. Stalk, a desire for something new. Could be going in a new direction as well because the stalk seems to be flying this way. And then we've got luck, keeping options open, just trying to have a bit of fun. So this one looks a little bit more like sexy and sort of um, snappy. So I'd say that the relationship perhaps was a little bit passionate, but it could also be a little bit conflicted. A desire for something new, new beginnings, and let's just have fun. So this one doesn't look very serious or settled. It actually looks like, let's just enjoy it for what it is, but it's not going to last forever. Possibly could be travel involved as well. Stork can represent travel too. If you selected deck number three, we're going to take out some cards, three cards. So what does this person think of you? Let's see what this person thinks of you. Commitment. Open. And talking. Okay, so often the ring means a commitment, but it could also mean a previous relationship may be still affecting or in influencing uh, you and them. They may also think that you're still tied up in a previous relationship. Then it indicates open, open communication, lots of talking, and probably it's saying here to keep talking, to be open. Okay, sometimes the letter represents thinking as well. So thinking, being open, could be a little bit of networking here as well, perhaps texting each other back and forward. But there is something about a previous relationship that may also be influencing the situation. 
Okay, it could also just be saying they want an open relationship. Open relationship. If you selected deck number four, we're going to choose three cards and find out what this person thinks about you. So one, two, and three. Fox, okay, they think you're a bit of a player. Perhaps not serious about anything in a relationship way, or perhaps there's trust issues as well. Uh, yeah, definitely player vibe here. This is like someone who's on the move, who's got lots of options, not very settled or commit, committed at this point. And then we've got the road passing through. Doesn't look like it's uh, a longevity vibe here. It's more like movement. They might think that you're just focused on yourself. They might think that you're not ready to settle down, or they might even think that you are just a player. Uh, these two are travel cards, so it's a bit like they see you as someone who's not settled or someone who's not willing to commit. Okay, so this was the yellow Lenormand deck, and it's available from my website. So if you like it, you can go there and have a look, look for it. This is Paris de Bono of the Fortune Teller Shop.